Finding good music is so important for any creative person, especially dancers. And if you're still listening to the same songs from DaBaby and Doja Cat every single day, listen up. In this video, I'll give you five recommendations on creative and simple ways to find great music no matter where you are. And if you not only want to discover great music, but also want to be able to dance to the music, then click the link in the description to check out Steezy Studio, where you can learn step-by-step -step basics to the songs that you love with our beginner online dance classes. Or burn some extra calories with dance workouts done to your favorite music genres like R&B, Latin pop, or even some artist-specific playlists. Learning with Steezy Studio allows you to express yourself through the music and movement that you want, and also get you through the scariest part of dance, getting started. Click the link in the description to get a seven day free trial and start dancing with Steezy Studio today. Tip number one, steal your favorite artist's favorite songs. When I found that one of my favorite artists, OK Sammy, makes exclusively bangers that I already love dancing to, I figured that likely means he listens to bangers that I would love to dance to. So I go over to his SoundCloud page, click on his liked songs, and listen to his favorite tracks. Tip number two, the magical playlist button. This tip is for Spotify users. If you have a playlist which contains songs that fit the vibes you're trying to dance to and want more music that is comparable, start by clicking on that playlist, then the three dots, then tap Create Similar Playlist. Voila, you now have a new playlist that has the same amount of songs as your original one and the same good, good vibes. Keep in mind this only works for the desktop version of Spotify. Tip number three, go down the rabbit hole and keep digging. Striking gold and finding that perfect artist or song that our bodies just can't resist grooving to takes time. So if you have a long drive or are willing to put in the extra hours, use the infinite radio method. You can use this with pretty much any popular music streaming platform on Spotify. You find a song that you like, click the three dots, tap, go to song radio. SoundCloud, click the three dots, click station. Apple Music, right click the song, click station. Now that you've created a new mix of music similar to the song that you like, listen through the tracks until you find another song that you like. Heart that song, then keep listening to the mix or create another radio station based on that new song. Keep repeating this infinite radio method until you're so stacked on bangers people think you run a British sausage factory. Tip number four, catch music in the wild. Like walking on grass in Pokemon, you never know when you're gonna come across something really awesome. You could be shopping at a mall, walking in a park, or even riding up an elevator when you hear some really, really good music. Recently, I was on my honeymoon and walking around an antique shop with my wife. That's right, your boy got married. And for some reason, the shop with super haunted house vibes was playing some absolute heat from their dusty old speakers. Luckily, I always have my phone on quick draw just in case I hear good music. What song is this? You can actually be like a caveman about it and just say what song, but I like to say the whole sentence. It feels more natural. Before our last tip, I want you to know that I know I can't name all the great methods of finding music. So if you have your own recommendations or just feel like personally attacking me for my preferences, leave them down in the comments below. Tip number five, avoid copyright infringement. Ah yes, copyright laws, the bane of every dancer and internet content creator. Let's say you did find a dope song in the wild and you wanna make a dance video to it and post it on YouTube or Instagram. The last thing you want is to have it taken down due to copyright infringement. So I could say that you should be forward thinking and upload an unlisted test video onto YouTube that contains the music track and see if it gets flagged or taken down. Or you could upload it as public onto an alternative account to be extra safe, but that's really time consuming and not that fun. What I love doing is discovering independent musical artists on apps like SoundCloud or Hype Machine. Most of these independent music creators own and control their own copyrights. Why does this matter? Well, I've personally found that artists generally want you to dance to their music, so they're less likely to get your video flagged and taken down. Your dancing is an opportunity for their music to be shared, and for you, another great song to dance to. But my favorite aspect, my absolute favorite, is connecting with these musical artists. It's hard to slide into the DMs of Cardi B or Chris Brown and get a response. But every time I choreograph to an independent musical artist, I send them my video and 90% of the time I get a response and end up building a really dope relationship with them. What's even cooler is that you never know which one of these artists is gonna grow and end up changing the music game forever. And that's all the tips for today. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more awesome dance related content and also,
set. Gravity ain't no saying.